In Italy, history spans thousands of years, and this can be seen in many cities, towns, and villages where remains from pre-Roman civilizations coexist with medieval and Renaissance architecture that's inhabited by today's locals. Such a vast span of history is present in the ancient towns of Calcara, Sutri, and Viterbo, where you'll truly feel like you're time traveling through Italy's most influential eras, and all within a short distance from Rome and from each other, making them perfect destinations for a day trip with Stefano Rome tours. Our first stop is Calcara, one of the best preserved ancient towns in Italy. This fortified medieval village, perched high on top of volcanic rock and surrounded by dense forests and steep valleys, takes travelers by surprise and exceeds their expectations of what a hilltop town looks like. Once condemned by the Italian government in the 1930s, Calcutta has seen a revival decades later when artists from everywhere took over, giving the village an eclectic and diverse atmosphere that's quite groovy. While you're here, you can explore this enchanting and colorful little village with its many art galleries, bakeries, vintage shops, new age boutiques, and health-conscious cafes. After our visit to Calcutta, our next destination is Sutri, a town of very ancient origins with archaeological ruins and surviving monuments that go back as far as Etruscan times down through the Middle Ages. The amphitheater is probably Sutri's most impressive structure, and visitors enjoy its evocative and almost mythical atmosphere. The exact date it was built is not known, but scholars believe it was constructed from as early as the Etruscan Archaic period to the early decades of Christianity. Nearby, on the side of the road, literally, is an Etruscan Acropolis with dozens of rock-cut tombs that you can walk through. Further down a bit, supposedly built upon an Etruscan tomb, is an ancient Mithraeum that was later converted into the church of the Madonna del Parto. A Mithraeum was a place of worship for the followers of the pagan god Mithras, a common figure in the late Roman Empire. It was a common practice for Christians to convert pagan temples into churches. One famous example is a Pantheon in Rome. And finally, our last stop is the picturesque city of Viterbo, where we will stop for lunch. The historical events which have characterized the charming province of Viterbo have left many fascinating things for travelers to see and experience that include churches, palaces, castles, fountains, ruins, and more. 
The historical center of the town contains a remarkable architectural legacy from the Middle Ages through the Renaissance. Our first visit is a central square of the Piazza del Plebiscito, where lions and palm trees across the square are the symbol of Viterbo. We then make our way to the Papal Palace, a beautiful fountain with the arms of the Della Rovere family that produced two popes stands in the internal atrium. Our next stop is one of the most important monuments of the city, the Cathedral of San Lorenzo. It's Romanesque in style and it was built by the Lombard architects over a pagan temple of Hercules. The most ancient building in the city, the cathedral was altered in the 12th and the 16th centuries. On the cathedral square stands the Episcopal Palace, decorated with fine sculptures of the 13th century. In total, five conclaves were held here in the 1200s. In this palace is also where the concept of a conclave was created out of necessity. And on this tour, you will learn about the unusual circumstance that brought that on. Viterbo is also famous for its many fountains, a valuable source of life-sustaining water throughout the centuries, and a timeless source of beauty for visitors today. The town's wide streets lined with cafes, shops and trendy boutiques inside into medieval buildings are perfect for a leisurely walk. A day spent visiting these three unique towns offers you the unforgettable opportunity to experience how in Italy the past and the future come together in a most spectacular and profound way. For more information on this and many other tours, please visit www.stefanoromtours.com Thank you for watching and choosing Stefano Rome Tours for your guided tours in Rome and beyond. See you soon in Italy!